Jesus got us in his head, he'll help us through. Jesus got us in his head, and all that we do. Jesus got us in his head, he'll help us through. Dream, believe, achieve. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Annalise Garrison. Um, I have to figure out a way, we have to figure out a way, how to tackle these SATA questions. So, I thought I would post a daily SATA question, a daily select all that apply question for the NCLEX. And let me work, uh, the reason I can't tutor SATA questions is because I miss them as much as you do, <laughs> right? So let me see if we can't figure out how to tackle these questions uh, together. If I don't know something, I'll look it up. There's got to be a way. All right, so let's look at a question right now, all right? So I don't know this, this question, so let's look at it. When assessing a child receiving tobramycin, sulfate, or nebsin, which finding would indicate the child is experiencing adverse effects? Select all that apply. I don't know what nebsin is. Okay, it sounds like a antibiotic for for the CIN, and it sounds like neb as a nebulizer. Okay. So it sounds like an antibiotic that you inhale. I'm not sure. I don't. I've never heard of this um, medication. But I'm at the NCLEX. I have this med. Select all that apply. One increased blood pressure. Two weight gain. Three rash. Four fever. Five ringing of the ears and six, decrease heart rate. Well, so what is my problem here? Why can't I answer the question? Because I don't know what the med is. Okay, what is the topic? Remember in my other video I said to find the subject? Figure out the topic? Matter of fact, let's pause right here and let's go over my last video and then we'll come back to figuring out what this question is. Let me just start here with a little overview. That won't hurt anything. When it comes to the SATA questions, you have to think. Every question will have a topic, a subject, and an action. The topic the answer will always pertain to the subject matter. Also, if the topic is manifestations or symptoms, then you want to write the causes of the subject. The subject will be the catalyst for the correct answer. And your action will pertain to both the topic and the subject. So, this is why we have select all that apply. Okay? So, let me explain a little bit more about the topic. Before looking at any answers, ask yourself, do I know about this topic? Pick the topic out, and do I know about this topic? If you do, and if you can, then list in your mind, three to five things you know about the topic, keeping in mind that you will not always be able to list three to five things. Like if it says uh, manifestations as a topic, well, that's not enough information. You can't list three to five things, right? So you might not always be able to do it. That's okay. And then you want to throw out anything that is not related to the topic subject, or action when you are doing multiple choice questions. As far so why wasn't I able to answer this question? When assessing a child receiving tobramycin sulfate or nebsin, 
which finding would indicate the child is experiencing adverse effects. The topic is the Nepsin. I wasn't able to answer the question because I didn't know three to five things about the topic. Now, what is the subject? The subject is the adverse effects. Again, because I didn't know about the medication, I couldn't list three to five things about the adverse effects. So, when I originally answered this question, I picked one, increased blood pressure, three, the rash, four, the fever, and five, the ringing of the ears. Because I didn't know anything about the subject, really. I didn't know the adverse effects of the Nepsin. So, what I did was, I took an educated guess. Uh, Nepsin, I'm assuming, is an antibiotic because it ends in CIN. And I looked it up, and it was an antibiotic. But the adverse effects of the antibiotic would be the rash, the fever, and the ringing of the ears. Antibiotics fight infection, right? Bacterial infection. So it's got nothing to do with increased blood pressure. But had I known about the med, I would have left out the increased blood pressure. So, in closing, what was my problem? Uh, that I did not know the med, unknown medication. So when that happens, you just have to take an educated guess, which I did. I got it wrong because I picked one. So we'll continue to work through these select all that apply questions. There's got to be something we can do. I think I'm going to do a select all that apply every day. So look for my Select All That Apply series. So as long as we can identify the problem, in this case, I did not know my content. There's always something you're doing wrong. You didn't know the concept. You didn't know the content. You didn't know the strategy. There's always something we do wrong. In this case, I didn't know the topic. And because I didn't know the topic, I wasn't able, I was not able to write three or five things about the topic that I knew. And I also wasn't able to write three to five things about the subject, which in this case would be the adverse effects. So what was the answer to this select all that apply question? When assessing a child receiving topomycin, sulfate, or nepsin, which findings would indicate the child is experiencing adverse effects? Select all that apply. And the answer was three, four, and five. The answer was rash, fever, and ringing of the ears. We did not pick increased blood pressure, weight gain, or decreased heart rate. And that makes sense. If I would have known this medication, I would not have picked um, increased blood pressure to begin with because I should have known right off the bat that it was an antibiotic, but I wasn't. That's the other thing. You have to give yourself time to think. On the NCLEX, if you're taking the RN, you should answer 44 questions an hour and you won't run out of time uh, when you're practicing. Just a minute, Lele. When you um, are taking your LPN, you should answer 42 questions an hour, and you'll go to five hours, and you won't run out of time. So think about that, too. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Come in later. Jesus got us in his head, he'll help us through. Jesus got us in his head, and all that we do. Jesus got us in his head, he'll help us through. Dream.